Investigators painting a clear picture of what was going on there, how much ammo the shooter was armed with when he walked into that church. KFAN's Aaron Carvile continues our live coverage from Sutherland Springs. Aaron. Robert and Shannon, the entire block around this church building is still roped off with crime tape tonight. The plan tomorrow is for detectives to map out the forensics and the trajectory of all of the bullets. Today, tonight, actually, DPS just told us that that shooter emptied 15 magazines each one with the capacity to hold 30 bullets. That means if all of those magazines were full, he could have pulled the trigger 450 times. Gone from our sight, but never our memories. Gone from our touch, but never our hearts. Words of comfort from complete strangers. I mean, it could happen to anyone, so I figure it will be, it'll be nice to come down and just uh, show the condolences. Day Chong and Jessica Stevens made the drive from San Antonio with church friends to drop these off near the church. Well, I can tell you that the scene in there is horrific, is not even a word to describe it. Investigators found hundreds of shell casings. DPS believes there was a lot more to it than just family conflict. There are many ways that, that he could have taken care of the mother in law without coming with 15 loaded magazines and an assault rifle to a church. I think he came here with a purpose and a mission. Now, so many others are showing up to this small town with a mission of their own. Through tragedy, there's love, and we just want to spread it. And local pastors are organizing a community-wide prayer service on Wednesday night. It will be at the Floresville High School football stadium starting at 7. They hope it will be a time of healing and unity. Back to you. Aaron, thank you. Vice President Mike Pence and his wife Karen will visit Sutherland Springs on Wednesday. They will meet with the families of the victims, the injured, and with law enforcement. Tonight, the Air Force says they are looking into how the suspect, Evan Kelly, got a weapon in the first place. His 2014 conviction for domestic violence should have disqualified him from being able to buy a weapon. But the Air Force admitted today no one entered his past military conviction into the national database as required. Investigators have said it appears this shooting stemmed from a domestic situation. And there is data that suggests a link between domestic violence and mass shootings. Every Town for Gun Safety is an independent, nonpartisan charity looking to understand the causes behind gun violence. Earlier this year, it released a study focused on mass shootings between 2009 and 2016. There were more than 150 of them. A majority, just more than half, were related to domestic or family violence. In more than 40% of these cases, the shooter exhibited warning signs like threats of violence, violating protective orders, even substance abuse. And in roughly a third of the cases studied, the shooter was prohibited from possessing a gun.